As this chapter of my life comes to a close, awaiting the start of the next chapter within my personal book, it is only fit to reflect on the special moments and lessons learned over the past three years. These lessons and memories are the drivers for who I aspire to be as a physical therapist. To say I am the same person I was three years ago, preparing to embark upon my graduate education would be completely false. Not only has my academic knowledge grown within the profession of physical therapy, but I have also developed in ways that will allow me to give the best care to my patients and possess the skills to work collaboratively and effectively with other providers. When I imagine myself as an emerging leader within the profession, I envision the continuation of learning and driving towards excellence in many facets of my profession. Striving to be a leader does not happen simultaneously and most certainly does not ignore the pursuance of growth and development. Professional and personal growth does not end as I walk across the stage and accept my diploma. Graduation is not where learning ends, but rather is where it starts. As I reflect, I understand I have great strides to make along my path from being an entry-level clinician to an expert within the profession of physical therapy. A wise clinical instructor of mine once told me, the day you decide to stop learning is the day you become a bad therapist. These words have stuck with me, providing motivation and further understanding that we practice in a profession that is constantly evolving for the benefit of our patients, colleagues, and society as a whole. One of the greatest challenges my classmates and I faced was learning these skills amongst a global pandemic. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many schools and universities were shut down, forcing students to learn virtually. For physical therapy students, this format of learning led to extreme obstacles when practicing clinical skills and performing hands-on tasks that are fundamental within this profession. Together, we worked through the pandemic and our given situation to make the most of our academic learning. As a result, we grew closer as a class, leaning on each other for support. Reflecting on it now, I do not believe we were at a great disadvantage, but rather we showed resilience and strength that will successfully carry us forward within our career. When we were able to resume learning in the classroom, we learned in a variety of ways, including lectures, lab work, practicals, workshops, projects, group collaboration, and exams. These have allowed growth within my knowledge of human health, as well as the significant impact physical therapy has on quality of life. One of my favorite moments in the classroom was having the opportunity to provide neuro rehabilitation to patients with various neurological diseases. The clinic combined physical therapy and occupational therapy students together to create individualized treatments and home exercise programs for our designated patient. Not only was this an opportunity to apply knowledge and skills learned in the classroom, but it was also an opportunity to connect. Connections with OT students, professors, patients, their caregivers, and family. Each week, we progressed and challenged our patient physically to improve upon the deficits we identified in our evaluation. We got to know our patient on a personal level, focusing on physical limitations that prevented them from participating in activities they enjoyed doing, such as working in the garage and doing yard work. We were able to make therapy fun, simulating some of these challenging activities that would help achieve their therapy goals. By the end of the project, we had not only made functional improvements, but also made a positive impact on their quality of life. Not only was our patient satisfied with the gains they made in therapy, their spouse was also immensely grateful. Going into the first year of my physical therapy career, I seek to work in a setting with strong mentorship and collaboration amongst coworkers. This includes interprofessional communication amongst other healthcare providers involved in a patient's medical team. I believe working in an environment surrounded by supportive and motivated individuals will aid in my professional growth to achieve my long-term goals. Along with having the ability to lean on established clinicians for advice and guidance, I plan to further advance my learning through various continuing education courses and opportunities for participation in research. As someone who got involved in clinical research during my time as a student, I have a newfound appreciation for the importance of research and education for the continued advancement 
of the field of physical therapy. As I near the end of this chapter and graduation day approaches, I am ready to continue on this path of being a lifelong learner, further advancing within my professional development and practicing to become an expert level clinician within the profession of physical therapy.